China officially approved its space station program way back in 1992. The three-step plan, named Project 91, involved first developing a human-rated rocket and spacecraft, orbiting Tiangong Space Labs as test beds, and finally constructing a modular space station in low Earth orbit. China launched the first Long March 2F rocket with an uncrewed test Shenzhou spacecraft in 1999. In 2003, Yang Liwei became the first Chinese astronaut in space aboard Shenzhou 5. Tiangong 1 was launched in 2011. Tiangong 2, Shenzhou 11 and Tianzhou 1 further verified systems and China is now looking to begin constructing the Chinese Space Station or CSS. Once completed, the 60-ton CSS is expected to be operational for at least 10 years. The core module, Tianhe, is the first of three 20 metric ton modules that will make up the CSS. Tianhe includes the living quarters for the crew and control compartment and will be the first into orbit. It will have the capability to recycle a high rate of water from respiration and excretion. It is expected to launch around 2020, after which it will be joined by two experiment modules, Wentian and Mengtian that will be used for a range of science objectives and will complete the basic T-shaped CSS joined by a docking hub. The CSS will be aided by two flexible solar arrays, or wings, each with a 30-meter wingspan, which, together with biaxial sun-pointing mechanisms and high-efficiency lithium-ion batteries, constitute a sophisticated and powerful space station power system. The station will also have two robotic arms with a total length of 50 meters. The human-machine coordination they allow will make the building and maintaining of the space station possible. The arms will also be used for installing experiments. The CSS will orbit with an inclination of between 41 and 43 degrees, closely matching the latitude of the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, from which the Long March 2F rocket will launch astronauts to the space station. The Tianhe module will be launched after a successful test flight of the Long March 5B. The Long March 5B is set to debut in June 2019. If successful, the following launch would then carry the Tianhe module to an orbit of around 390 km above the Earth, around 2020. The original Long March 5 suffered a failure on its second flight in July 2017, prompting an investigation and subsequent redesign of its first stage engines. Once in orbit, Tianhe is set to be visited by the Tianzhou 2 cargo spacecraft in order to deliver supplies and propellant, and then by the first crew, which will be aboard Shenzhou 12. The Wentian and Mengtian experiment modules, along with further Tianzhou and crewed Shenzhou missions, will then follow, to be joined by a docking hub with the orbital outpost to be completed around 2022. It is also planned that the CSS will be joined by a co-orbiting optical module, also known as the Shuntian Space Telescope. The Space Telescope will share the same orbit as the CSS and be able to dock with it for maintenance, repairs and propellant supply. Shuntian will have a mirror around 2 meters in diameter, similar to that of the Hubble Space Telescope, but with a field of view around 200 times greater. To construct, maintain and send crew to the CSS, China will use three different launch vehicles, which will lift off from two different launch centers, Jiuquan for orbiting astronauts and Wenchang for launching the modules and sending cargo spacecraft to dock with the CSS. The 20 metric ton CSS modules will be launched from the specially developed coastal Wenchang Space Launch Center by the Long March 5B. China has 16 active astronauts, selected in two rounds in 1998 and 2010. Eleven of these have flown to space, starting in 2003 with Yang Liwei aboard Shenzhou 5, which made China only the third country to achieve independent human spaceflight. In the 15 years since, China has flown five further human spaceflight missions, most recently Shenzhou 11 in 2016. This was by far the longest at 33 days. Stays on the CSS will be around three to six months at different stages of construction and development, requiring China's astronauts to both launch more often, but also adapt to much longer stays in space. In 2018, China also opened a third selection round of astronauts. While the previous two rounds drew only from Air Force pilots, this time civilians are welcome to apply as mission specialists, drawing on engineers and scientists from China's space sector. 
In 2018, China announced the first opportunity for all United Nations countries to apply to be involved in science missions aboard the CSS. The move is one that aims to put China's space activities in a positive light, boosting the country's space and soft power while also providing developing nations with access to space. China is also collaborating with the European Space Agency, with a view to ESA astronauts potentially flying with Chinese counterparts. The CSS is not the final point in Chinese ambitions for human spaceflight and space exploration. The orbital platform will provide experience that will be useful for ventures beyond low Earth orbit. With early work on a super heavy lift launch vehicle and a new generation crewed spacecraft ongoing, China is signalling that it is eyeing up human missions to the Moon which could begin in the early 2030s. This would be no flags and footprints endeavour and is likely to involve establishing a human lunar outpost.